lot of new things have been announced during the Chinese livestream for Genshin Impact and these are the top 5 new features coming with 1.2 update that is set to be released on December 23rd, 2020. The biggest thing that's coming to 1.2 is going to be the Dragon Spine Zone, which is going to revolve around an ancient palace that Albedo has discovered. And there are a couple of new interesting mechanics that this zone introduces, which includes a temperature system. Now this temperature system can be seen above your character's health bar and will keep decreasing the more time you spend inside the Dragon Spine. And once you reach the dangerous levels of your temperature, your screen will start to get frosty and your character will get inflicted with the frozen status, and even worse, your health will keep decreasing gradually. So in order to prevent yourself from these dangerous effects, Effects, you will need to seek out various fire sources like flame brazers or pillars along with some other unique locations like the fire pits. Staying near these objects or locations will help you out with managing the temperature. There are also various obstacles inside the new zone which includes frozen barriers that will need to be belted in order to unlock new areas. You will also need to collect unique resources to unlock even more of Dragon Spine secrets. And let's not forget that the new zone also introduces new types of enemies like the frozen Sisson Mage or the intimidating Frost Giant Hilly Churl. There is also going to be a different version of the Ruin Guard. And in terms of new equipment, there's also going to be two new artifact sets, one for Cryo and the other one for Hydro. Along with these artifacts, four new weapons are going to be introduced as well. All in all, this zone is definitely packed full of content and this is going to be the first update that introduces new explorable areas for players. With the 1.2 update comes a lot of new and exciting events, and the biggest event of them all is going to be the Chalk Prince and the Dragon. This is going to be a similar event compared to the Unreconciled Stars event since they both follow a structured approach to each event part. And the biggest highlights of this event are the weapons, a unique resource that most likely is going to be required to ascend these weapons, and of course, the Crown of Sagewood for players to max out their character's talent levels. It was also briefly mentioned that the event will have a sword called the Festering Wound, which is going to be the center of attention. The next event, although not clear, when exactly it's coming out will be called Lost Riches and your goal is going to be navigating the open world for lost treasure using very cute Sealy companions. These Sealys come bottled up and can be summoned to help you locate hidden treasures around you. It hasn't been confirmed if you can keep these Sealys as pets after the event ends but here's hoping we can have a permanent companion on our journeys. And for those who are looking for a challenging fight, the Hypostatic Symphony is going to be an event that gives more power to the three Hypostasis bosses. Fighting them inside a special room will grant you rewards and you can also finally go up against their alternate attack patterns, which is a welcome change for those who are looking for an exciting fight. We're also going to see the Marvelous Merchandise make a return and this time, you can also visit this charming merchant in other players' worlds to complete the quest. Finally, the most mysterious event of them is going to be the Frostbearing Tree, which doesn't contain much information as of now, but it has been disclosed it will have Crown of Sagehood as reward. The dream of finding Coco Goat is finally over and we'll get to see Ganyu alongside with Albedo as the newest 1.2 collectible characters. The first one to come out is going to be Albedo who is a 5 star Geo character which is set to appear for Wishing on December 23rd alongside with Dragon Spine Zone. Now he is going to be the main protagonist of this whole Dragon Spine saga and will also be getting his story chapter much like we did with Tartaglia and Zhongli. And not much has been disclosed yet about Albedo's skills in technical terms but it appears to be his elemental skill is going to be a Geo Flower that can be used for traversal and what seems unique about it is that the flower itself elevates above the ground giving you enough height to make lunge attacks. His elemental burst on the other hand looks quite similar compared to Geo Traveler's burst since it releases an energy blast in the form of crystals. This attack is going to be excellent for fending off groups of enemies that are trying to surround you and it's going to be interesting to see if these abilities are going to resonate with Zhongli's pillar. But if you want to stay up to date with all character analysis make sure to follow us on Twitter, link in the description. Moving on to the next one it's going to be Ganyu, who is a 5 star cryo bow user which is going to be released sometime in mid January 2021. And she definitely has a lot of interesting concepts, the first one being her charge shot seems to explode in a shrapnel blast that damages enemies in an area. So far we've only seen Klee to have unique basic attack patterns but now Ganyu is another hero that this time has a different charge attack pattern. And similar to Albedo, her elemental skill also summons a lotus flower that does a special effect in an area but what's more interesting is her elemental burst which seems to be some sort of a giant orb she summons that will attack enemies with icicles from above. However, one thing we haven't seen yet is any confirmation of new 4 star characters coming into the game. We've only been hinted at a new character for a brief period during the stream. All in all, there's going to be two new 5 star characters. The first one is Albedo, who is set to release on December 23rd this year, and Ganyu is coming mid-January 2021. 
MiHoYo continues to keep adding new quality of life features into the game, and this time around there's going to be a lot of improvements in 1.2. For those who are tired of clicking during cutscenes, you will now have an option for autoplay so you can sit back and admire the dialogue. You will also finally be able to private message your friends and even give them nicknames so you can set them apart if you have more than two people with the same name. And for the photographers, a new option will be added to make your favorite characters do poses as well as different facial expressions. You can finally take those pictures you always wanted. Now when it comes to domain, two important changes will be introduced. First of all, you won't need to exit or enter the domain anymore and instead the process is streamlined and you can restart the domain very quickly with only a few clicks. The second part are the artifacts. They will no longer be dropped on the ground and instead you will be met with a screen that contains all of them and the best part about it, you can review them immediately. So no more co-op domains where you get kicked before collecting the artifacts and no more back and forth switching to your backpack to check to see if you got another defense artifact. Finally, you will get a quaint fate for ascending your character which is an excellent way to get rewarded for investing into your favorite team member. Also, you will get an option to review what materials you need besides the current ascension, so you can plan ahead accordingly. So there's a lot of cool new quality of life features coming out in 1.2, and some of these are going to be great time savers as well. There's a lot of stuff that MiHoYo still hasn't officially addressed but have shown us during the Chinese livestream. One of these things includes Sucrose who gets prominently featured in the trailer and even during the live discussion and yet we're not getting much info about her. However, it's clear that she's going to have some significance either during one of the events or even inside the Dragon Spine Zone. But to summarize, the biggest update of 1.2 is going to be the Dragon Spine Zone which includes new enemies, mechanics like the temperature system and special areas for exploration. And we're also going to be getting a lot of new events, except their schedule hasn't been confirmed, but it's clear what we can expect from them at least in terms of rewards. Of course, the most important part are the characters and there's two of them coming out, Albedo, a 5-star Geo, and Ganyu, a 5-star Cryo character. Albedo is set to be released on December 23rd, while Ganyu is coming out in mid-January next year. Finally, we're also getting a lot of new quality of life features that includes private messaging with friends, domain rewards getting simplified, and getting rewarded with acquaint fates for ascending your characters. All in all, this is one exciting update that's going to definitely shake things up for every player that's out there. Enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe to us by hitting the bell notification on and gently pressing the like button. You can also get more useful Genshin Impact news and guides by following us on Twitter. Thank you for watching us.